<laughs> Helicopters are immensely useful machines. They can fly around more nimbly than planes, they can hover, and some can even lift heavy loads. All this and more without needing a runway like fixed wing oh, aircraft. Mayday, 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 mayday. This is an example of an RC helicopter being employed to take down some streamers at a Walmart. <laughs> there are three types of controls in a helicopter. They are the collective, the cyclic, and the anti-torque. The collective controls the up and down, or the altitude of the helicopter. The cyclic controls the pitch and the roll. The anti-torque controls the yaw, or the rotation in the horizontal plane. Here again, I am using my RC helicopter to show some of these ideas. I have one camera pointed at the rotor blade so we can see the change in blade angle, a camera on the swash plate to see how it transfers the control inputs to the rotating rotor head, and I also included a view of the transmitter so we can get an idea of similar control inputs a pilot makes in a full-size helicopter. Notice how the rotor blade will change pitch throughout the rotation cycle. In full-size helicopters, the rotor blades are constantly flexing and changing pitch. The materials they are made of must withstand not only the rotational forces, but the repeated stresses from flexing like this. As the pilot raises and lowers the collective, the swash plate will move up and down for collective pitch. This makes all the blades at the same time change pitch together to either climb or descend. As the pilot makes an input to change the pitch or the bank angle of the helicopter, the blades will change pitch as they pass a specific spot as they are rotating. Look closely. The blades will be at high pitch on the right side instead of the back, but the back of the rotor plane rises even though those blades are at the neutral position. This is because of gyroscopic precession, a phenomenon where a force is manifested 90 degrees later in the plane of rotation from where it was applied. For anti-torque, there is a tail rotor which spins at a constant velocity like the main rotors. The tail rotor will counteract the torque generated by the main rotors that is transmitted into the helicopter structure, preventing the helicopter from spinning uncontrollably. To control what direction the nose of the helicopter is heading, the pilot will control the pitch of the tail rotors. <laughs> 